Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Sacramento police say one man was killed after a shooting on Florin Road in the Pocket neighborhood. It happened just before midnight last night. The department did not provide any information about a possible shooter at this time. A truck driver from Manteca is now facing murder and aggravated assault charges after a multi-car crash in Parker, Arizona. Police say their investigation found his truck crashed into multiple cars waiting at a stoplight. One person was killed in the crash. Several others were injured. A Sacramento police detective has been arrested following a crash on an I-5 off-ramp that killed two brothers. It happened last December. Jonathan Nangle is now facing two counts of vehicular manslaughter. The brothers were identified as Juan and Lionel Rodriguez. Stockton police are now looking for this man who they say grabbed a necklace off a 90-year-old woman's neck while she was sitting in her front yard on Percival Way. The victim was in a wheelchair at the time, according to police. Anyone who knows who this man is should call officers immediately. Police in Rockland are looking for this man, who they say robbed a branch of Banner Bank on Sunset Boulevard. The robbery happened yesterday before 2 in the afternoon. If you know who he is, reach out to Rockland Police. Caltrans says parts of Highway 70 near 18th Street in Marysville was closed in both directions. It comes after a truck hit a railroad bridge there. Union Pacific is now investigating to make sure the bridge is still stable. Parts of westbound I-780 in Benicia were closed because of a semi-truck crash with a hazardous material spill. The fire department says the double tanker truck was carrying 6,000 gallons of hot tar. One person was taken to the hospital. The hunt for an escaped inmate in Pennsylvania continues. Police say the man has now been spotted close to half a dozen times and that they found footprints suggesting he has escaped the police perimeter. They've released new footage of his escape as well, showing he scaled a wall, a fence, and pushed through razor wire to get out. Federal prosecutors say they are now going to seek a grand jury indictment of the president's son, Hunter Biden, before the end of the month. Special counsel David Weiss's office did not say which charges they are planning on filing against him. In Stockton, in the 2023 Taco and Tequila Festival concert this weekend has been called off due to, quote, unavoidable circumstances. Musical artists Little John, T.I., and Rick Ross were all expected to perform. The team is working on getting people refunds. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.